Hi, Grandma from Grandma's Footsteps. Um, in the last video, we were busy putting embellishments into the book. Now, um, I said I do sometimes come back and do a bit more, and I have come back and done a bit more. Um, so I'm just going to show you those now, and then we'll move on and work on the uh, the back cover. Let's try and get this so you can see it. Right, there you go. Right, now... Um, Yep, I stuck a little heart with a flower on it there in the corner of the envelope. A little bit of um, Wink of Stella. Um, I've stuck... I had some more of those little pocket-shaped bits with the, the little animals on. So I've stuck one on there with a little tag. This is one of my extras, a little tag in there. And I've done one there. Um, this isn't a pocket-shaped one, but it's very pretty. And one there with a tag okay so we've done that haven't done anything to that one as far as i can remember uh the teddy bear i've given him a little butterfly um up there by the ribbon now on this one i'd said that i didn't think that was very much i could do but i've discovered i could done a couple of bits i put a little bow at the top there with um some uh, pearls in the middle which doesn't affect the um photo frame at all and down in this corner here I've stuck a little safety pin well it's a plastic safety pin um, and uh, I coloured in this part silver because it was all pink okay um, can't remember if I'd showed you this one before or not but we've put a little heart on there um, and a bit of glitter along there now I've used um, peel offs on some of these uh, glittery accents um, I know there's a lot of controversy or controversy depending on how you want to pronounce it about peel-offs but I personally think they're okay as long as they're not the sole um, decoration on a card or anything I think they're fine to use in places okay I haven't done anything on either of those but I have on this front page of my book within a book here I have added a couple of flowers um, because it was a bit plain round the outside uh, uh, to my liking a little wink of Stella on the writing as well there so that's that um, and in the one here where it says words I put three little flowers um, down in the bottom they're actually uh, tattered lace um, charisma ones and um, so I got the charisma paper and I die cut the flowers out and put them in. Now on here I've added pearls in all the joints on the trellis there and put one little one at the end. Um, I thought that looked rather pretty. Um, here I've got tiny hands, tiny feet and a rocking horse. These are also um, peel offs but uh, like I say, they're fine. I've put a little flower down here on the corner, a bit of leaf and a bit of, uh, I believe it's gypsophilia or gypsophila, baby's breath, I thought was quite suitable for in here. I've put a bow on the tag there. Um, yep, yeah, so that's fine. Um, these I think you've seen. I, I added a teddy here, a little die cut teddy um, with a tiny gingham bow. Um, no, we haven't added. And down here, I've added some um, blocks with ABC on. Um, they're just a die cut. I cut them in white, pink, and yellow, and I've swapped bits around so that you've got the different colours there. Okay, I've added a couple of extra tags here under this tuck spot, um, just to make it a little bit more interesting there. Um, I still haven't done anything to that and in here under the prams we open up the prams here and we have a die cut cot in white with um, a mobile hanging over the top which I cut <coughs> white and pink there and I glued the pink over the top with a wink of Stella on the stars the sun and the moon and I left the cloud white. I can't remember if I've shown you that before or not. But And a little teddy bear down there by the 
bottom of the cot. Okay, so um, this is the problem with getting old. You can't remember what you said yesterday. Okay, have I done anything in here? Yes, I believe I have. In here, I've added um, a tag here um, behind the picture frame because I left a space there to put a tag um, and a little butterfly um, up in the right hand corner there. Okay, so we get that and that and that. That's all closed up now. Um, you saw that, but what I have added here, which I'm hoping you're going to be able to see, is um, baby footprints running up the side of the page, which um, I'm really quite happy about. Okay, um, <clears throat> I've added a tag in here, um, as I'd left a space to do that. I don't think we've done anything there, but I have added this beautiful silvery um, peel off to my waterfall. So, because you can't add very much because it tucks in underneath. And I still haven't done anything at all with this page. It's just too beautiful. Too beautiful to do anything with. And if we look at the top here, the top of the book, you can see all these things sticking up. Or you could if I was under the camera. Well, there, we'll put it that way around. And this here is the the uh, tags that I've made to go in the pockets on the big pages the one two three four five six of those and down in here in all the small pages I also met left a pocket space so I've got small tags in each one of those which is another five um, places to put photos and some things so there it is that's um, getting there we have to still attach the spine which is what I'm going to do now uh, uh, sorry the back cover and the spine which I'm going to, to do now to um, tighten up or reinforce the spine a little so <clears throat> basically how I started to prepare for the spine was we had this piece sticking out here which we could have stuck more pages to but decided to end at six and what I've done is I've measured um, a centimetre here because all the pages are a centimetre apart I've left a centimetre there so that the back page is not going to be slap up against this or the back cover so I've done that and then we've cut like we did for the front cover this one with the long piece to the side I've marked the fold line there and I've added my second piece of card so that we've got the right side of the card on both sides and this is where we go from here now what i have to do which is difficult is i'm gonna have to line this up so that this the edge of this comes up against that crease but i do need to put some um red liner tape on so we'll do that first oh got all caught up hold on yeah got it right so we're going to put the red liner tape on here um, it's all getting um, I'm getting in it I'm getting in a tiz here so for some reason I'm getting myself in a bit of a tiz was okay let's uh, put that in first um, God, picked up a little bit of paper there okay so we stick our red liner tape on there, put it off level, and we're going to have to add some um, glue to that as well, some wet glue. So I'm going to hold it over there like so. First of all, I'll push the red liner tape down, take the uh, backing off. No, we won't. It wants to come with it. Um, <clears throat> okay and now we put on some um, wet glue to cover a the bit that we haven't got the, the red liner tape on and b to give me a bit of wriggle room in case i make a mistake somewhere or i can't get it lined up so okay my husband's now stood up so he can help me line it up i hope at least to hold it so <clears throat> okay so um 
pretty well got it lined up there himself has had a look and given me the nod to say that it's pretty well um, straight so that's lined up on that crease and that folds up there and now the book has um, a back cover okay now we have to stick this to that which reinforces the spine but we're not quite straight here this is going to be a problem um, because I've got to get this <coughs> straight over there now it's not going to go totally straight um, we're going to get I'm going to have a small problem because as you can see something here is not straight so that that is not I don't know if you can see that it's not quite um, lining up now I can possibly persuade it no well, I can't persuade it to go over there so what we're going to have to do is just stick this on and we are going to have to trim up this side and then we are going to have to put another piece um, over the top which I was intending to do anyway so it's not the end of the world okay so some red liner tape so we'll start off with this bit along here because this bit's important can you see where where that is I think um, unfortunately if I turn it around so that you can see it I can't see what I'm doing completely but okay we will stick that along this edge which is where the spine meets the front page okay there so we'll we'll do that there that's one piece of red liner tape um now i do here somewhere have a wider one so i'm going to cheat um and use a piece of bit of wider because i want it to really really adhere so um, I've gone a little bit over the top there but that's okay because we can trim that off I hope this makes uh, you feel better because we all make mistakes including me obviously so that goes up to there um, yeah I've got to keep the spine straight so um, yeah I'm not sure whether to put a bit in the middle or not. I think I probably will. So we'll just put a piece in the middle. And then in between this red liner tape, we will have some um, wet glue. Which will at least give us a bit of movement. So, that's, that's my red liner tape. If you can see that there. Um, so... <laughs> got a bit stuck to my thumb. We'll pull these off. I hope. Okay. Oh, come on. They don't want to see me sitting here trying to get the top off this forever. One. It's because it's the wider stuff. I don't have so much trouble with the thinner stuff. Having said that, I probably will now. Okay, I'll do it the way I normally do it, is push my thumbnail underneath rather than trying to pull it. There we go, that's two. And <clears throat> this one. Now you may have noticed that the cover is actually quite dirty. But I'm not going to worry about that, simply because um, we're going to be covering that all up, of course, anyway. So, we will... Just put some glue on here, including on the red liner tape, which will give me a little bit of movement. Um, so we just put the glue on, goo goo, and I will attempt now to line this up the best I can. So we'll start off by pushing the pages coming up there into it, there, and that side okay that's good I think that seems to be fairly good put it down on the desk and what we will do now is we will go between the pages with our thumb finger whatever and 
smooth that down so that it sticks as much as possible get a little bit of pressure on there um, where we can so that it will um, hopefully adhere as well as possible so we just keep pushing that down pushing it down and pushing it down now uh, which you can probably see there the spine has come up over the top a little bit but that can be trimmed and I'm fairly happy that I haven't come as far out at the bottom as I thought I would so there we go now what I have to do is to trim this off <clears throat> so all I'm going to do is to move back you may not be able to see what I'm doing here but I'm sorry about that and I'm just going to use my scissors up against the front of the uh, book here so that I can cut as close as possible the reason I've moved back is so that I can actually hang, hang the book over the edge of the, um, the table to do that um, didn't cut it particularly well but I'll trim that up a little bit and uh, I can always run a um, nail, nail file or something over the top to get it smooth but by the time we've put all the uh, covers and everything on you won't see it now I also have to trim off the excess that I've got round the top here so I'm going to do that now okay and there is basically your finished book now um, I'm going oh what a star my husband's just bought me a piece of a piece of sandpaper so I could so I can just get rid of those rough bits on there with a little bit of sandpaper so that that looks much much better now I need to um, stick another piece of card over the top of this piece so <clears throat> I need to get a measurement from that whoops that's my ribbon um, <clears throat> so it's uh, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 mil that way by eighty nine by a hundred and fifty three. Okay, so I'll just make a note of that on my scrap piece of paper, and that is eighty nine by a hundred and fifty three, and that's millimeters. Okay, so I'm going to get. Um, oh, it looks like my husband might be getting ready to cut it for me. Um, so we'll have a plain white one, please, dear, if you can do that. So. I'm um, sorry, I just needed to take a drink then. While my husband is doing that, I have decided on the closure for my um, book and I'm going to use a ribbon. So <clears throat> I've got this lovely piece of um, voile ribbon here that I'm going to attach um, to the book. We'll bring it round and we will tie it there on the corner of the front page okay that's how i intend to do it so um i will be gluing that to the book or attaching that to the book before um we stick any front or back pages on okay um <clears throat> so i'm just getting it sort of in the right place um, there's several ways you can glue it on um, although really as long as it's in the right place when you stick your cover on it really doesn't matter um, and the piece that uh, my husband's cutting me now to go on this spine to make it three layers so it's a little bit thicker and just sits a little bit better okay so we've got uh, I had a little bit of a, of a hiccup with the camera there so but we're back now um, and we have stuck the extra piece on the, the back here um, difficult to show you now because it's getting so big um, here on this piece so it's nice and smooth 
um, I've got a few pegs just to hold it in a couple of positions and the ribbon now goes under that piece of card that we put in there um, and it's uh, going to hold it nicely but just to stop it moving around I've just used a um, tape runner just along the front and the back page here just to hold the ribbon in the position I want it until I'm until I've got the other bit stuck on and then it, it won't matter but it does just hold it and stop it from sliding backwards and forwards particularly as it's a organza ribbon and it's pretty slippery so I've got to leave the pegs on now for a, for a few minutes at least to um, you know, let that glue set so I'm just going to put it over there and we're going to talk about the front cover now if you remember I said I had something special and if it worked it was going to be awesome and if it didn't well it, I'd have to think of something else and you remember that I picked this particular um, paper to do the front cover so what I did was I cut an extra white um, white sheet here which is um, like uh, like the others and I'm sticking it onto the front so I'm making I'm sticking the um, front cover on and I've made it up as if it was a page and we're just going to stick it onto the front um, so I stuck my piece of paper on like that and then I decorated it now the special item that I was going to that I wanted to mention to you now I'm going to try to bring you in a little bit closer here um, I hope I don't start making you feel sick there we are so that you can see um, what I've done now um, this little baby dress this was my my special um, thing I actually made this on my brother scan and cut and um, my brother scan and cut is called Bob um, the reason it's called Bob is because it's my brother and my brother is called Bob so we just refer to it as Bob because the brother scan and cut is quite a long uh, mouthful so if you hear me referring to Bob it's my scan and cut okay so I started off um, and you can see the plain pink here this was one piece of the dress that I cut out and you can see it cut out all the little lacy holes in the sleeves here and then the overskirt or the, the pinafore part of it I cut out of this really pretty um, paper that we've used in other places in, in the book um, and again it's just cut so that it fits on and this, you've got these little slits here so it makes it look like it's a bit fuller um, and a lacy edge at the bottom again which I glued over the top I then put a ribbon round at the at the waist and tied it with a bow there now this is not my design um, I actually bought the SVG file for Bob from um, <coughs> crafts you print okay and uh, so I actually bought it um, I checked the angel policy and I'm allowed to use it um, for sites, items that I sell so <clears throat> there's my little dress which I was really chuffed with and <clears throat> I've used some of our basic die cuts that we've been using within the book so that everything sort of um, uh, gels together okay and it matches so I've cut that piece out of white I cut the slightly bigger one with the um, dotted edge out of pink and I, I stuck those together because when I <coughs> when I put this on top of this um, patchwork paper you couldn't really see it so I wanted to back it with white so I did that and then I backed it with pink and <coughs> also this lovely dotty um, frame here so that it all sort of is framed beautifully a um, little bit of wink of Stella on the pink there and I put a wink of Stella on all the little flowers on the dress and I added two pearls here to look like buttons right that was that I then also used Bob my scanning cut to cut out the words baby girl as I don't have a die cut um, for those words so I had to do something else so that's what I did and then I added 
these flowers. Now these flowers I've also used in the um, in the book, so it sort of ties in yet again. And um, just these little flowers here, I cut them out. Um, again, it, it, it is tattered lace charisma, so I cut them out from the charisma paper. I've shaped them on with a shaping tool um, and a ball tool, and we've glued them on there. And I've added some extra leaves and things just for a bit of interest and a large flower and these little small ones the same as I used inside. And then I added a butterfly. Um, I love butterflies. There are lots of quite a few butterflies in the book itself. So I added a butterfly with some pearls down the middle. Um, and that is the front cover. So that will now be glued onto here like so. And that is the front cover for the book complete for when I'm ready um, to uh, to glue it on. Now, as far as the back back cover is concerned, I haven't entirely made up my mind what I'm going to do, except I do have um, a piece of card to build it on, and I have the same <coughs> paper. So that is going to have to wait until I'm um, ready for the, on the next video because I'm just not not ready for that now. Um, I think these clothes pegs can come off the book now and we can stand the book up. Um, and you can see we have a nice firm spine. We have our front cover ready to go on. And of course we have to also decorate the inside of the front cover and the inside of the back cover. That and the back cover in, to in its entirety we will do in the next video. <clears throat> so there we are. We're getting there. We'll soon be finished. I'm hoping that when the, uh, the book is completely finished I will be um, putting on a project share on YouTube so that you can... Um, everybody can see it um, in its entirety with all the pages being opened and closed so there you go I'll try and see if I can get you in just a little bit closer there and you can now see what the book is going to look like from the front okay well thank you for watching um, and please like comment and subscribe sorry I hit the tripod then and um, we will see you on the next video. Take it easy. Bye bye. Actually, um, I can glue that over the top.